Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create AWS RDS Aurora for PostgreSQL 17. Then we will see how to connect it from the most popular tools PG Admin or DBWare. Connect to AWS console and click on the services, click on database. Just click on database. See here we have the different database options. So click on Aurora and RDS or just in search box search for RDS. See here we have the Aurora and RDS service. So click on it. See here in DB instances it is showing currently running 0. So click on DB instances then click on create database. Then we have to select standard create or easy create. I am going with standard create. Then see here we have the then we have engine options like engine type Aurora MySQL compatible or PostgreSQL compatible. Select the Aurora PostgreSQL compatible then scroll down then engine version then select the available version see here the latest release is Aurora PostgreSQL 70 ok so select it if you want to 16 select 16 ok if you want 15 we have the older version as well ok select it then if you want to enable RDS extended support you have to select this checkbox and next come to templates see we don't have the pre-type, we have only production and developer test templates. But if you want to free type, you can select the this course is equal. Then you will be able to find. Click on it. Then scroll down. See here we have the free type option. Okay. So go back. Select it. Come down. I'm going with devour test. This is just for demo purpose. Okay. See based on the production or development our test templates judges will be different now we have to use the name for the aws aurora for process equal. so i am giving aws aurora pg 17 copy it then credential settings see here see this is the master username if you want to provide you can provide but it must satisfy this condition okay i am going with the default one then credential management if you want credential manager in secret manager this is the most secure or if you want self manage click on here then provide the password for this master user if you want to generate automatically click on here okay i want to give my want so see it must satisfy this condition it cannot contain this forward slash singular double quotes and at sign okay so keep it in mind and provide the password then cluster storage configuration I you optimized or standard it is up to you so I'm going with standard then instance configuration instance configuration see here we have to select the DB classes serverless memory optimized burstable or optimized it is up to you if you want to include previous generation classes you have to see on this one so you can select serverless or memory optimized to see here we can select the number of cpus and ram if you want burstable this is the minimum optimized read classes okay i am going with burstable classes it is up to you so the minimum is 2 gb and 2 cpus and 4 gb ram select it then availability and durability if you want to create Aurora replica or radar in different ages that is availability zone you have to select if you don't want to create an Aurora replica you can select it ok this is for failover and high availability ok in production generally we will create in multi ag deployment ok based on requirement you can select but for this demo purpose I am going to select this don't create Aurora replica then connectivity so i am going with don't connect ec2 then i don't have any vpc in this region so if you have see i am creating this in this us history region. so i don't have any vpc so it will create vpc in this region okay then db groups i am not going to change anything public access select as then vpc security group that is firewall i want to choose cd you want to create new one you have to click on create new or if you want to use the existing one you can use this one so availability zones 
select any one of them from the list create an rts proxy i don't want then additional configuration this is this is the default code for the aws aurora postgres sql then if you want to provide tags click on add new tag i don't want if you want babel fish select this one to turn on database authentication i don't want either of this like iam database authentication or kerberos authentication monitoring if you want to enable see here we have the two types of monitoring database insights are database insights advanced and database insights standard okay if you want to enable see performance insights if you want to enable keep the check box if you don't want to select it okay if you select it see this is the retention fee period this is pre retire eligible okay seven seven days to seven days to 24 months okay then account okay Additional monitoring. If you want to enable enhanced monitoring, you have to select the checkbox. OS metrics defaults. If you want to export log, log. See here, we have the, these options: instance log, process equal log, IAM. Okay. So if you want to enable turn on this DevOps guru, you have to select the checkbox. Then you have to provide these values. I don't want additional configuration. If you want to provide initial database name, that is, if you want to create database like bank, you, you can provide the database name, and these are the DB cluster parameter group. So failure priority, no preferences, no preference. If you want to give, you can give tier tier zero, tier one, tier ten, up to tier fifteen. I'm not going to provide maintenance enable. My see, if you want to enable auto minor upgradation, you have to keep the checkbox. So if there is any minor version, it will automatically and upgrade. Okay. So maintenance window, no preference. If you want to provide, provide the maintenance window. by checking by selecting this choose a window i don't want delete production if you want to delete production we have to click on this enable you have to select the checkbox for delete production see this is the estimated cost per month review this one more time if you are okay with all the settings you have to click on create database close this one see status is creating open pg admin Now select this AWS RDS right instance. Then come down. See here connectivity endpoint, networking, security, etc. Monitoring, log events, configuration, maintenance, etc. So click on this endpoint. Then go to PG Admin. Right click register. Then select server. Then provide the name. This name can be anything. Then go to connection tab. Paste the and point name port number 5432 main has database same username postgres then provide the master user password that we have set then click on save see this is the expected error so go to aws rds then click on sec this security group then click on security group id then click on edit inbound rules then select add rule then select pg postgres equal 5432 source my ip then select save rules now go to here re enter the password then click on save see we have successfully connected let me expand this one see here we have the list of the users those are related to rds even if we expand databases see here we have the rds admin database okay this is the database that we have created if you want to run queries select database right click query tool now verify the version that we have created select version select the query and click on execute See, we have created AWS RDS Aurora for Postgres for seventeen dot four. You can also connect this from the command prompt or terminal cm open command prompt. If you have already installed PSQL client, you just you run this one hyphen h, then host name hyphen p hyphen d 
postgres hyphen u you must caps then postgres this is a username now we have to provide the password of this master user see I, we must give this no space between this one see we have successfully connected let us create a database and verify database test see database is created backslash backslash l is the command to verify list of databases see here we have created test database but here also see here but it is not showing right click and refresh see we have the new database okay in the same way we can connect to connect to db1 okay if you want to install db1 or pgadmin on your machine then search for my two channel how to install pgadmin or db1 okay so we have successfully connected to aws aurora postgres equals 70.4 from the pgadmin and db1 okay now go to services see here we have the recently visited services click on aurora aurora and rds db instances as i told you if you are not using this you can delete them because charges are based on the usage so see here we have the option to stop temporarily or if you want to database activity you can click if you want to create clone you can click on clone if you want to add reader you can add reader if you want to stop right click and click on delete or reboot if you want to reboot click on select it and reboot okay so if you forgot to delete judges will be there so if you are not using anymore i strongly recommend to delete it okay so in this video we have seen how to create a ws rds aurora course is equal and connected from the psql client and pg admin okay for more courses, call our AWS tutorials. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.